open sesame. Any side quests to do? Doesn't look like it, just... It's Sid. All story, it is Sid. Yeah, the new Sid. It honestly kind of reminds me of, uh... In FF2, they killed Sid off. Of course, FF2 is a bad example, because it has, like, barely any story. But... FF2 ended up killing Sid, and you got his airship, and, like, his- he said, like, oh, let my dream live on, etc. So, this- this method of killing Sid reminds me of what they did in FF2, where they killed Sid in that game as well, except with a lot more impact, because you actually feel something. Clive. Hey, yeah, what's up? Use the forge. Oh, I will absolutely make 11 bullets. That sounds awesome. I say so myself. That it? Okay. Fine. Maybe I can upgrade armor, actually. I feel like, yeah. What do you want? Anything else? But yeah, Sidolphus, I would say he's probably yeah. the best Sid in all of Final Fantasy. I'm confident in saying that. Is it business or pleasure? You have a cigarette now. Going okay. Burst weighing you down. There's nothing I really care for, I don't think. I do have a lot of gill, so maybe. Golden increases gill earned by 35%. That's pretty good. XP earned by 15%. Ability points earned in normal encounters by 20%. Ability points would be nice to have. I'm gonna buy this. It'd better all be here. Finished, are ya? More ability points sounds awesome. Increases gouge damage by 15%. This is only 8%. I feel like that's not really too big a difference. Instead, I'd rather have like a, um, something else. Although, raising attack and defense is like meh. What'd you need? I feel like XP is like irrelevant in this game. What'd you want? Not too important, and gill is also really important, so we'll maybe get the gill one later. So I guess you can't upgrade accessories. I was kind of hoping you could. Reinforce, you can maybe. No, it's just like, okay. Can't upgrade anything here. I thought you can like, upgrade accessories, but it doesn't anything look like else? you can. Crafting is very straightforward. Nothing much to it. Alright, I guess we'll go back to uh, Otto and talk to him. What's new here? All of Virtue Arcade Mode. Oh wait, this was here before. I remember Arcade Mode. I don't want to mess with that. I wonder if your Reedstone's going to have like anything actually useful later. Clive. Is everything alright? Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Thanks for your concern. Google. You're wondering what this new board is behind me, aren't you? All in good time, my furless friend. All in good time. This looks like a bulletin board with some kind of wanted monsters. A la Ark the Lad. I like it. Or if you want a Final Fantasy reference, FF12 had a somewhat of a bulletin board in hunts. Ah, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yeah, this is where she's chosen to be. Oh, you know what? Active time lore. We should read some lore. Sid the Outlaw, leader of the faction believed responsible for the shattering of Drake's head in 873, with this single act of inf infamy, Sid's name quickly spread to the four corners of Elysthia and beyond. You're now taking up the mantle, Sid. Nice. Chief Steward of Clive's Hideaway, Otto continues to serve the same role as he did under Sid, 
being the primary person in charge of all the mo money monies monies and monies and information coming into and going out of the hideaway i like that the character stuff updates for like what they're doing now in the story established under the leadership of clive rossfield who took on the title of sid after his former leader's passing in titan's destruction of the old hideaway here a community of like-minded individuals from across the realm has gathered to build a place where people can live and die on their own terms. Like its predecessors, it's built within fallen ruins deep within the dead lands of Central Storm. Decidingly, decidedly unlike its predecessor, however, it's located in the center of the lake. Ben Mir, Ben Amir, however you say that. Across the wa across whose waters any invading enemy can easily be spotted long before their arrival. Owls capable of transmitting the thoughts of others, specifically those with whom they are attuned. In response to an ancient incantation, their lithified third eyes store those thoughts in the form of aether, allowing them to be passed on as when required, though only to the intended recipient. Stolices are mainly kept by royals, nobles, and other figures of authority for the purpose of sending secret or urgent messages and are seldom available to common folk. The incantation, oh Mia Lo, oh Mia lost Elaine, yeah, that, that, okay. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Nice, nice. Hello? I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, Recent days have seen the Blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the Strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do not fear for your home. Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now... As to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. 
I do like the the story is essentially like a war plot, but it's so much more than that. Like it's really hard to describe. Like oh, how, if, if someone was like, hey, describe the story in like two words or something, or like a few words, you'd be like, oh, a couple of countries and lands at war. But it's so much more than that because like there's like this theme of racism and like the bearers being treated like slaves. And then like the stuff with the icons there's so many layers to the story even if it is like a war plot saying it's just a war plot like doesn't even begin to describe it which i love norseman harpocrates now that is a name i have not heard for a long time so long in fact i had half forgotten it was mine welcome home clive you were missed as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Here you go. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tess does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. He's not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> I beg to differ. I saw two in this whole game. The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Turn to my chamber. And no side quest to do. Back to my chambers I go. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Not a stolus. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Bum, bum, Could bum. Gav have thought worthy of a letter? Have you been to the toll? I hear a new shipment's just arrived. I have not been to the toll. Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the OK, so we'll have to do that super often. This is cool. The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing. I reckon I'll see your done to wear upon my return. I do like that Gav isn't dead. I thought Gav was, like, dead. <laughs> I honestly thought Gav was going to die what there. have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randalar in Hugo Kupka's charge. 
With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. You wonder, is Joshua just yes. like dead? He was there. Or is he gonna come back or something? Because like of the whole illusion. Phoenix of Rebirth or whatever? Or I I'm I curious to see what happens. To Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Maybe he just survived. Who knows, dude? I can't wait to find out. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. To a world without mother crystals. Oh, I guess we know our next goal. We're gonna be probably going to every realm, destroying the mother crystals. I look forward to it. Also, to Sid, one of the best characters in the game, the best character in the game. Although, depending on what they do with Clive here, Clive might end up being like my favorite character. Oh, hey, Joshua? So I guess you survived. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. Sounds just like Larsa! This is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. Short-haired Larsa? Like, incredibly short-haired Larsa? Which is ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother. Are our efforts in vain? So Joshua's alive. Very happy about that. We get more Joshua. Joshua. 